Well, he was shot five times. And after the news broke, uh, people started to comment on it. One of which was Rich Porter's niece. She my said, daughter. "That's my daughter." Okay, that's my daughter. Wait, your actual daughter? That's my daughter from Patricia Porter. Oh, aha. That's okay. My well, she commented on on the situation. She said, "We waited for a long time for this day to come, and we are happy. That's why we're out celebrating, drinking champagne." Everybody's reaction right now is celebrating. It's a celebration for Harlem, period. Every dog has their day. Now my uncle could finally rest in peace 32 years later. It's just that the pain my mother felt all these years, I've been feeling the pain with her. Every dog has their day and today was his. I believe in karma and I'm glad that I was there to witness it. She spoke her mind, bro. I think she spoke that to the Daily News. I did. I heard about it just as you heard about it. Like, wow, wow. And you know, they family. You know, Patricia. I'm still in contact with her. That's that's family for life, for life. And I I clearly understand where she coming from, and I understand the celebration, bro. You understand? He, her brother, her brothers. That whole situation was just too much to bear coming from the family point of view. And when I spoke to Alpo, when we met at the restaurant, I asked him, like, yo, how you feel about all these people on YouTube saying this and that and that? I don't give a fuck about them. I said, if I meet them in person, you know, they're going to have to have that same energy. This is how he was talking. He said, the only one, this is his exact words to me, the only one that I would allow, allow to do something to me is Pat. Because I understand where she's coming from. That's his exact words. I said, fam, don't, don't bother them. Just let's let them live, bro. He said, I, I, I understand. Eh? I get that. That's his exact words, bro. So, you understand that's, you, that's real, bro. You know, and it's not like, you know, they went on celebrate. I guess in the moment, that's how they felt, and, and that's what it was, bro. Yeah, and they have their right. They have the right to celebrate. Uh, they had a certain degree of closure to their life. Um, but it's just feel, nasty. Sir? It's just it's just it's just nasty because when I look at it, all those pictures you see, all the stories you hear about us, the fun, the money. Look how it ends, bro. Nobody got nobody left that shit untouched, bro. Yeah. Nasty, bro. So for the youth that's looking at this, bro. Like I tried before, I'm saying it again. This ain't the way, bro. This ain't the way. Don't don't jump in none of these costumes and act like this is it. Don't try to repeat. Paid in full like we repeated Scarface. <laughs> Get out of there, bro. And this is from the heart. I'm coming to you from the from my heart to my mind, bro. But not from my pocket to my heart. From my heart to my mind, this is real, bro. And that's the only reason why I'm up here doing this interview, bro. And that's how we're going to end it. Uh, AZ, I appreciate you coming in and telling your story once again. I mean, I felt it was important to have you come back after Alpo's death to kind of, you know, bring the whole story full circle. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, You've taken responsibility for all your actions. All of it, bro. Uh, you, you've never ducked from anything. You've never made excuses. And, you know, like you've always said, ever since you stopped being in the game, this is a cautionary tale for people coming up who want to be the next AZ, who want to be the next Big Meech, who want to be the next Nikki Barnes, yes, the next yeah. Frank Lucas, the next Freeway Ricky Ross. And, and every person I interview, and I've interviewed some of the biggest drug dealers out there that are still alive, and, and the story is always the same. It's always, hey, we had a good run. We had five years. We had three years. We had eight years. It all came crashing down 
we all lost everything. We didn't get to see our families grow up. We lost people close to us. Um, you know, the feds will always have an advantage. You'll never beat, you know, like when you see the federal paperwork, when it says the United States of America versus your name, you're not going to compete with that. You, you can't, can't win, bro. You America, can't win, bro. You know, one door in, two doors out. Penitentiary or yep. the graveyard, bro. Bottom line, yep. bro. And let's let us, let us say this, bro. To all those that lost their lives in the game, B, let's give them a moment of silence. And may our post soul rest in peace. There you have it. There you have it. AZ Faisan, appreciate you coming in. Until next time. God bless you, bro. Peace.